1st of June, 1990. I asked him today what he does down there. He just stared at me silently with pure hatred. I don't understand how this happened. I don't know him anymore and sometimes he scares me. He spends all of his time in that basement. Next time he does a beer run, I'm going to sneak down there and look for myself. I trust Gary, but the man I'm living with isn't Gary anymore. I have to keep Maggie safe, if nothing else.
against domestic violence had mentioned during the press that the well, attitudes of the the blind eye to domestic mice. violence by explaining away the problem. Often in cases like these, the victim is in love with their assailant. As we all know, love often trumps These cases often need outside intervention, but ultimately, it is up to them to help themselves. Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. You have the ingredients to cook something truly special. Here we have some chicken been marinating overnight with some chicken. This liquid give it a really nice salty flavor. I want to tell you how to get this from your... But I think you know how I did. And next we want... The 
Check on you later when you come back home. That's all from me. Blind eye to domestic violence. All you do is drink. I need you, and I love you more than I can express. I don't understand how this happens. Sometimes he scares me. I just need the number of pain. I told you I was sleeping. He was out with Maggie getting ice cream or something. I, I don't know. I was asleep. Look, my baby boy just died. And I don't know how. What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? I didn't kill my son. Yes, I had postnatal depression, but I'm telling you. I woke to a noise and had a strange feeling something was wrong. And I ran to his room and I found his crib collapsed. His lifeless body. And he blew up on the bush. My baby boy. <laughs>
investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. The father was out with their six-year-old daughter buying groceries. When they returned home, they found the mother of the child holding the infant in her arms. Authorities have taken the mother in for questioning, but she has since been released. A spokesperson for Pleasant Falls PD told us that the death has been ruled accidental. However, the investigation is ongoing. It's believed that faulty nursery equipment may have failed causing this tragedy. Inficare has issued a full recall on all their bassinets in accordance with the ongoing investigation. Our best wishes and condolences go out to the family involved in this tragedy.
investigation has begun into the tragic death of a six-month-old baby boy. Look, the my baby boy just died. <laughs> it had a strange feeling. Like what kind of God would kill an innocent baby? What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? What kind of God would kill an innocent baby? January 11th, 1986. We just got back from the hospital with the latest addition to our family, little Michael, and he's perfect. Feeling a little strange though, almost depressed. I feel so guilty for failing this way when it should be a time for celebration. Gary's been great, but he doesn't understand how I'm feeling. I tried to talk to him about it, but he just doesn't get it and tells me to be happy. He's right, but it's not that simple. Isn't it normal that I'm having postnatal depression with my second child when I didn't have it with my first? I'm depressed and happy at the same time. My God, this is confusing. I hope it passes. I know Gary will support me through this. I'm sure it's all going to be fine. The nurse suggested that I keep a journal to help work through my thoughts. So, here we go.
next day you'll have a big pot of meat just totally broken down and you can serve it just like a this. secret. They'll be stunned by a sudden burst of light, but only if they don't see it coming. Through the switch, bright light, she can't stand it. Who the fuck is gonna clean my- Come on, stop the show! Mystery meets. From the very reaction, you can almost guarantee that you'll never be asked to cook again, and you can get back to doing what you do best. Now, let's engage in the reaction. Oh. Who the fuck is gonna clean my car? Stop the show! last holiday period reached a whopping 95 deaths. 60% of those were alcohol related. Maxwell Hume from the Pleasant Falls PD stated that alcohol-fueled violence and car wrecks have become a huge problem. How much needless death does there need to be before we curb our vices? If you suffer from addiction, seek help now. It's fine in moderation, but when your addiction affects the lives of those around you, it's time to do something about it. And in other news, City Hall was vandalized last night. The graffiti reads, who put her in the witch elm? Being a small town, we don't usually have to deal with vandalism, but this message is very specific. To an unsolved murder from 1943, where human remains were found inside a witch elm. The remains were found 43 years ago. Question, why now? Police have no suspects or motive, but say it's likely that some of our youths came across this story and are simply acting out.
23rd March, 1985. He really surprised me this weekend. He blindfolded me and whisked me off in the car. When he took the blindfold off, I saw this horrible little run-down cabin in the woods. He'd purchased this place from an estate sale of a deceased hunter or something. He wants to fix it up so we'll have our own little romantic getaway. Maggie's staying with the neighbors for the weekend, so I guess I'll make the most of it. Fourth March, 1985. He's like a changed man out here. At first I wasn't sure this place is creepy, but last night was simply amazing. Maybe this was a great idea. It just needs a woman's touch. Fifth March, 1985. I don't ever want to come back. Last night there were all kinds of strange noises. I could hear whispering. I think maybe some of the vocals don't want us here. I heard something in the basement and had to investigate. Oh my god, it's the slaughterhouse down there with some really weird shit going on. I appreciate taxidermy as an art form, but this looked like more than that. Between the cabin's unknown history and the strange noises, it would be a cold day in hell before I'll set foot in here again. This is how those horror movies start.
love to see the bride before the wedding. Get out of here, you. <sighs> Wait a minute. Just needs a woman's touch. Old day to change the man out there. Dear Diary, I haven't spoken to Dad in years. We avoid each other as much as possible. He's always drinking and I'm scared to talk to him. Mom is a mess. She's so weak. I hate them both. I hate it here. I'm a prisoner in my own room. I can't have my friends over. I stay at Bridget's house as much as I can. It's time for a change. I met a boy two months ago. His name is Carl and I think I love him. I told him about everything yesterday. My dead brother, drunk father, and drugged up mother. I thought he'd run for the hills, but he says he wants to save me. He says we should run away, and I think I will. What is my future here? I can't stay. I feel bad leaving my mom, but if she ever grew a spine, she'd have taken me away from here years ago. I have to go.
that training paid off it seems, as she came first in the annual tri- Who do you know who you are? Or do you? Some believe this is their life flashing before their eyes. It was really a moment of clarity, a clear meaning and understanding that every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Do you understand the extent of your actions? The tormentor can become the tormented. The giver of gifts can become the receiver. I only got six months. I'm lucky. This reality isn't real. It's only a reflection. Of you. We'll be back after these messages. Mom, I'm so sorry for everything that's happened to you. I can't do this anymore. Do you know how many times I hid under my bed listening to Dad hurting you? Falling asleep under the bed to the sound of you crying? I hate you for not taking me away from here years ago. I'm running away with my boyfriend and I won't be coming back. I'd be safer living on the streets than I am here and that's no way for me to live. I'm old enough now to understand that none of this is normal. Maybe we'll see each other again someday, but I never want to see him again. Get help, Mom. I do love you. Love always, Maggie. the switch, bright light, she can't stand it.
12th of April, 1996. I hadn't spoken to him in what seemed like an eternity. So shocked when he asked me to come back to the cabin. I assumed he wanted to fix a marriage. Maybe try to move past everything and start over. Last time we were at the cabin, it was so romantic until the freak show started. And I vowed never to go back, but if we help our marriage, I'll try anything to win this nightmare. Once we got there, he just started babbling about this being the place of conception and rummaging through that fucked up basement. I don't know if I should be indulging him or getting help. I want him to get help, but I'm scared. Oh, now here we are. used to the name, but it's starting to grow on me. Perfect. And he looks just like you. He's got your eyes.
June 6, 1996. Gary's gone totally insane. Since Michael, and he terrifies me. He terrifies Maggie too. I should have left with Maggie years ago. But I love him. And I can't just leave him like this. Maggie went away. She hates me for not standing up to him. She's right. And I don't know where she is. But now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I wish my Gary would come home. Instead, I'm stuck here with that drunk monster. We were all so happy. How did we get here? It's been ten years now. I'm so dumb, I can barely get out of bed. And I'm trying my hardest to stop taking the pills, but it's all I have now. And I wish I could change things. For Maggie's sake. Maybe she's better off without us.
of their life flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Gary's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. She hates me for not standing up to him. She but now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. I love him. I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. The search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been... So here he stands, at the gate. Does he understand the extent of his crimes against his eternal soul? He can't set things right. It's over. He can ensure eternity is fitting for those he affected. I'm looking for myself. Part. That concludes our broadcast today.
welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. It feels like an eternity, but here we are. We're almost there, but this will be the last episode you see of my show. 25, 15, 21, 4, 9, 4, 20, 8, 9, 19. That's the simple part. What follows? Oh, what delights I have to show you. Slice into nicer thinner strips. This is a real treat. Sorry to be the one to tell you this, kid, but karma is a bitch. And what follows is your torment. And now for the side dish. This really represents something you had and threw away. And here we are. A meal fit only for you. That's it from me to you. Coming live and uncut from hell. This is Massimo signing off. I'll see you real soon. You see of my show. 25, 15, 21, 4, 9, 4, 20, 8, 9, 19.
they arrived. I overestimated your comprehension skills. No matter, you'll finally get it. If you take your place, someone will be with you and we can begin.
Thank you.